The question mark is a little close to the other letters, so we're going to select the object, and we're going to use our right and left arrow keys, and we're going to slightly move it away from the other letters. Now we're going to change the colors. Let's zoom in a little bit. We're going to turn the stitches on. We're going to change the colors in the lettering first. We're going to select what's yours. Click on the select new color icon, the isochord tab, and we're going to select 0020. Then we're going to click on Forte, the spool of thread, the isochord tab, and 0020. The next thing we're going to change is question mark. And we're going to select isochord 1950. And then the last thing we're going to select is this line. In order to grab the whole line, we're going to use the Select Object icon. We're going to click in the upper left-hand corner and drag to select the whole line. Or you can hold the Shift key on your keyboard and click on the number 3, which is in red, and that will select that entire line because that's selecting everything that's red. Click on the spool the isochord tab, and we're going to select 1950. The last color change we need to make is the accent mark over the E. If we use the select object icon and we click on the accent mark, it's going to ask us if we want to select the character. If we say yes, it's going to group the accent mark with the E, which is, will change the colors on both of them, which we don't want to do. So we're going to select the freeform object selector. And if we click an area around the accent mark and then right click, it's going to select just the accent mark. And then we go in and select the color. We're going to change that to 1950. And now just the accent mark has been changed. Looking at the color sequence bar, you'll see five color changes. We need to combine this down to just two. Click on the color sequence icon, and the color sequence window will open up. We're going to click on item number three, and we're going to move it to just underneath item number one in the number two slot. Click OK, and now we have them grouped together, but still five color changes. If we hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click on the first color, it will combine it to one. Click on the second color to combine the pinks. And now we're down to just two color changes. Another handy feature in Forte is Slow Draw. If you go to the Display menu and select Slow Draw, and then press the F5 key on your keyboard. It will begin stitching out the design on, in the work area. If you click on the right arrow, it increases in speed. This design was digitized for a cap, so it's sewing from the center out. This is a great tool to see how it will stitch out prior to sending it to the machine.